Hi, I'm Christine Dressler. And I'm Alexa Taco. And we are sophomores at Oyster Bay High School. We went on a college trip this past winter with the sophomore class, and we visited about 10 colleges. For some that we visited that were huge, and others that were really tiny that you got a lot of attention at. We visited some, including the Naval Academy, which was a different kind of school, but since our grade is very diverse, some kids liked it, and they thought it was for them. Um, I actually went into the trip not knowing a lot about college, and I came out, like, I feel like I'm a pro. We learned at every different college, they told us about the different admissions process and what factors are important, what factors aren't important, like the essays and your course choice at, uh, of what's offered at the school, like APs versus honors and regents levels, and that you should challenge yourself. How, what difference do you see now that you're back at the high school? Since um, you I think it's that, including me, our entire grade is more focused on schoolwork and it's not that everyone is just being leisurely. We all know now exactly what colleges want, so we all want to do the extra work now because guidance counselors can tell us stuff, but it's way different when a college admissions person tells us something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we have more of a headache, like we have something to work for, like I'm not, I'm not doing the AP World homework for just to do it, I'm doing it because it'll really like, help my future. Do so either of you see the college that you think you want to go to? I didn't see the college that I wanted to go to, I want to attend somewhere in the city, but I definitely got a feel for what type of college I want to go to. Um, I know I definitely don't want to go to a little college. I want to go to a bigger college, but I would have never known that if I hadn't gone on this trip. Mm. I really liked um, George Washington University, Emily and Mary. Definitely want to look more into those and visit them again with my parents because I saw that they were a nice size school with a nice campus and a nice town surrounding it. I looked at the uh, schedule of where you went and it was pretty much non-stop. Did you find it grueling or was it fun? It was fun. It was, it was fun. a lot of fun. grueling. <laughs> and oh. Dr. O'Hara even managed to do handstands. <laughs> there was some off time that we got, but it was, it was a really like, good planned trip. Like yeah. I think it's a trip that every student should be able to go on, um, not only because you can get a feel for colleges, but colleges also know that starting as sophomores, kids in Oyster Bay High School are looking to get into college and looking towards the college process. And if they know that, then when they see an application from us, they're going to know that we visited their school as sophomores and that we were interested in their school already. And if it's a decision between our school and some kid who just has good grades and just applied there, I think that we're going to get in over them and schools are going to be welcoming to our school. Fantastic.